You know, it was more than five years ago that BMW first showed us a concept of a topless i8, so it's certainly been a long road to get to this production model. But I'm very excited to see that the i8 Roadster is finally going into production, because it brings a little bit more style and fun to the plug-in hybrid car. Now, it's still got that same futuristic design overall and carbon fiber construction and vertically opening doors, but there's now a powered convertible top instead. Now, when BMW removed the i8's roof, they also removed the back seats. But I think that any i8 Roadster buyer is gonna be fine with that because the back seats in the coupe are pretty tiny after all. And the benefit is that you get all this open air enjoyment when you're driving down the road. I still really like the racy design of the i8 and we can see all this carbon fiber trim on this one. There's a new steering wheel this year and a new touchscreen as well as a couple of other changes. And frankly, I really like the seat treatment here with this orange and mesh look. The i8 Roadster is still a plug-in hybrid, but there've been some changes under the skin. There's a larger battery pack and a little bit more power. You can go 18 miles on electric power alone, and with the motor and gas engine working together, you'll get 369 horsepower. Based on what I've found when driving the i8 Coupe, I think this thing's gonna be a lot of fun once it's on the move. Now, if you want to learn more about the new BMW i8 Roadster, be sure to visit us at motor1.com.